Instacart has been a really good aid to me during the pandemic because, let's face it, Fred Myers during the pandemic at its absolute height was a fucking nightmare. There was a ton of people running around in there with no mask, coughing and sneezing, rubbing their hands all over everything, and they were all really close together and all of them refused to distance at all. I mean, even now, there's a lot of people that still refuse to wear a mask even though we all know how bad it is, but... Instacart gives you the chance to avoid that and have to just interact with possibly one very contaminated individual. They can leave the groceries at your door having gone through the swamp for you. Now, here's where the review gets a little sticky. These people... I don't know where they're hiring these people from, but a lot of them refuse to use any of the equipment, tools, or chat provided to them by the applications and the company that's hiring them. So the notes that you write 90% of the time are never going to be read. Doesn't matter how important the instructions are, me in particular having greedy neighbors that'll steal my wrongly delivered groceries in a heartbeat, I've had issues with them even finding my house. Even after writing very detailed instructions, they just don't read them, period. They refuse to read them. They'll say, where's your house? And I'll ask, did you read any of the instructions? Well, no. Tried. They'll just straight out flight, no. Let's and then I said out. once, hey, There's read the instructions and welcome. they'll tell you exactly how to find my house. He said, I, I can't find your house. You didn't read the instructions, did you? He said, no. I was like, wow, either this guy's just like the most honest dude ever or he's a stupid asshole. And, uh... I ended up basically having to go outside and wave him down like one of the people from the airport. Now, I'm not one of those people that's really hard on people who do a shitty profession, because it's rightfully so. It's not a great job, and that's why I didn't want to go and shop there myself. But at the same time, it's, it's an application on your tool that they make you use. All you had to do was read it. That's it. Just had to read the instructions. They were all written out. There we go. Don't be a dick. And a lot of times I've had that problem. It's gotten better because I think I might have my account flagged or something because all the stupid people keep getting lost trying to find it. And now only like people who seem to really respond to the application and stuff seem to actually be coming back. But awesome. on top of that, here's we some really major advice for you. Never yeah, yeah, use guys. this application towards the end of the month. Ever. Never, ever do that. Because, and yeah, this has happened before, not only do they charge you for whatever you originally ordered, they'll charge you an overcharge. Like, you can add items to your order before it's actually started, right? And the price won't change that they put initially on your card because they charged you twice, and you just don't see it yet. There's your actual price that you paid for your groceries, right? And then there's the $60, whatever, that they throw on top of your order to cover whatever other items you want to add to it. So here's what happened. Last night, I placed an order with Costco for two items. And then as I'm ordering it, it says it failed or something. The order didn't work. It just wouldn't work. I tried just reordering and it said delivery failed or something. Order failed. And I'm like, okay, so that's weird because I should just be able to reorder because it's sitting in my cart still. So I just put it out of my cart and then put them back in my cart. Reorder. Okay, so this morning my order arrives and then it order arrives again. So, I got both, I guess. So here's where it gets really interesting. Um, I look at my bank account, I've been charged for both orders, and I've also been charged three orders of $60! I have to pay rent soon, dude! I call them up, I tell them what happened, they end up refunding, like, whatever. And then, they tell me, oh, don't worry, the refund will process in five days. Yeah, Sam, give me a hand with that's, uh, what, what's today? It's, uh, it's the 29th. It's the 20 fucking 9th. So they want me to pay a week late on my rent. 
like an asshole because I made a mistake ordering from Costco on the 28th of the month. Never fucking do that. Now, with all the good from all the bad, I'd say I'd give it a score. It's cart gets out of out of five noodles. I'd say it gets like four wet noodles. Even with all that shitty stuff I said, it's still, it's been such a lifesaver during the pandemic to just get stuff brought here, toilet paper and essentials from Costco and stuff, you still get the benefit of the membership without even having to be there and having bought the membership, because the Instacart shoppers have it. Now, let's do this. what I would say is their room for improvement is definitely, their application seems like it definitely needs improvement because there's been some fuck ups like this before it'll just fuck up and when it does fuck up like that guys pro hey, tip hey, stop right there just stop right there you're fine honestly you're good just leave it at the first one and just walk away because it's, it's probably going to work you don't need to do two and that's that's the only real pro tip I have for it. They need to improve their apps. That shit doesn't happen to people, because that's happening to lots of people. If it's happened to me, it's happened to at least a couple thousand people. So, that aside, they need to have people trained to actually use the application and to actually read the instructions. That seems to be getting better. Again, they might just be sending me people that actually do that versus, like, all of their other drivers that seem to suck. And you'll still get a really sucky one every now and then. Another tip, really stress in the instructions to get the frozen items last, and then when you start the de delivery, and they're actually starting the shopping process, remind them. It's like, hey, please read the instructions. It'll help you find the house. Please get the frozen items last. Like, you really have to plead with them, because I don't know why, but they think in their mind, well, I know where the freezer aisle is, so I'll get all that stuff first and just let it melt while I go and search for all this other stuff. Like, I saw this guy once grab all my frozen stuff immediately and then spend 30 minutes searching for a box of crackers. It was really frustrating, and then I told him to go return the stuff and get more stuff. And I was like, yeah, just return all that melted shit because I just watched you let that melt for 30 minutes and please next time get the frozen items last. He's like, well, I just didn't think it'd matter. It's in a uh, temperature controlled thing once I put it in my car. It's like, so it just sweat for 30 minutes until it's like soup and then you'll temperature control it. Great. I don't want soup. I wanted ice cream. Dick. <laughs> you know, it's like it's in the instructions. Did you read the instruction? No. That's the problem with Instacart. Even still, I gave it four out of five noodles. That's not bad but obviously there's room for improvement. And thus ends my review wow. ah, nice. of Instacart. Don't see a treasure, though.